these five steps of developing a curiosity-driven approach will allow you to become confident at a faster rate than if you quickly go through the material you don't fully understand. Be curious. Be super curious. And you will see your confidence grow quickly. Hi, it's Grant. In this video, I take the time to go through why curiosity matters so much. When you're trying to use deep learning for your business vocabulary, I offer you five steps that can help you develop a curiosity-driven approach. And I walk through those five steps, give you an example of how to do this, and show you how when you take your time and you go through new business vocabulary and use deep learning, it will stay with you. You will remember these words, terms, and phrases and be able to use them comfortably and naturally in the future. So give it a try. Really try to be super curious and see what happens in your deep learning of business English vocabulary. As you begin your journey of deep learning vocabulary skills, the first and perhaps most crucial step is using your highest level of curiosity. This isn't just about learning new words. It's about diving really deep into their meanings, uses, and, and nuances in a business context. I think Albert Einstein said it best when he said, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Well, this quote from one of the smartest men ever is a perfect example of what it takes for you to master your business English confidence. You might be asking, why does curiosity matter in business English vocabulary? Well, in the business world, every word and term and phrase you use can impact your communication. It's not enough to know a word. You need to understand the small differences in its uses and how it fits in different business situations. This deep understanding is what sets apart those that know English from those that are confident and effective communicators in English, which is exactly what you want to be. And research backs up the value of curiosity in learning. A study from the University of California, Davis, found that curiosity enhances the brain's ability to remember and be able to use information. When you're curious, you're more likely to remember what you learn and effectively apply it in the future in your work. And this applies exactly to your business English vocabulary. Let's look at five steps of how to develop a curiosity-driven approach. Step one, slow down and observe. Step two, explore word meanings. Step three, Read widely in your field. Step four, actively engage with material. And step five, challenge yourself. Let's look at the first step, slow down and observe. When you are reading or listening to something that is business related, take your time. Notice how words and phrases are used in different business contexts. For most of your life, you go through information very fast and try to get through as, as much as possible. But with deep learning of business English vocabulary, the opposite is true. You want to slow down, really pay attention to everything. 
Second, explore word meanings. Go beyond just looking up definitions. Understand how a word is used in various business conversations and documents and different uses. Let me show you a real life example of how I do this. So here, I wanna take the word embrace. And embrace is a verb. And it means to accept, adopt, or support a new idea, practice, or concept within the context of business operations. This is a great word to use in your business English. Let's go through four example sentences. To adapt to changing market trends, businesses must embrace innovation and new technologies. The company is currently embracing a customer-centric approach to enhance brand loyalty. Sarah, can you encourage your team to embrace the changes in our workflow? The management team's decision to embrace a lean management style led to increased efficiency. As you see, when you put embrace into each of these sentences and you go slowly through them and really try to really feel them, I think you can see how you could use the word embrace every day at work. It's interesting, the word embrace also has a different meaning. It's similar in some ways, but maybe you haven't seen an old classmate, somebody you went to high school with years ago, and you see them and you embrace them. You give them a hug. Well, it's similar here, where you're kind of giving a hug to some good idea or new concept at work. You're embracing it. It's a fantastic word. I challenge you. How can you use embrace? Put it in the comments below. Make a sentence. How can you use the word embrace? And again, you could use this every day. So this is what I do. I take a word like this, go through and try to find some example sentences using embrace in a business context. And I ask you to go through and say all of these sentences out loud, become confident and comfortable with them. So repeat everything I just put up here and go through these four sentences and make embrace part of your deep learning vocabulary. Step three, read widely in your field. Exposing yourself to a wide range of business materials will naturally introduce you to new vocabulary. When you find new vocabulary, the key is to take notes. Take the time to look up interesting words and take notes about how to use these words in different ways, similar to how I just showed you above. Use a translator app, use chat GPT, use an online dictionary to explore interesting new words that you find. And as I've said many times, taking notes and reviewing your notes is critically important in becoming confident so that you can use these great words, terms, and phrases naturally when you're speaking at work. Finally, when you're reading, take the time to read some of this out loud. You're not gonna read everything out loud, I'm sure, probably people around thinking you're crazy. But if you can take some time and read many things out loud. The key is the words come out of your mouth. It's not about learning. It's about deep learning and becoming confident so that you can use these words, terms, and phrases naturally in the future. So getting these words to come out of your mouth, it'll get you more comfortable with new vocabulary and increase the probability of you using these interesting words in the future. It is so important to actually say the words, and probably more important, to really feel their meaning. And when you say it out loud, you can feel the meaning. Let's look at step four. Engage with materials actively. What I mean by that is, rather than passively reading or listening, think about how you can use the words in your own business interactions. 
Maybe you're looking at articles that you're reading or listening to podcasts or watching a YouTube video about something that's related to your business. Over the years, I know you have become very skilled at understanding 80% of the things that you listen to or read. And then you make a good guess at the other 20% that you don't fully understand. And the more you become curious about business English, the more you will understand that many times your guesses are wrong. Business English is complicated and specific, and it's not always logical. When you are guessing, you are only using logic. And the more curious you become, the more you'll understand that logic is not always the answer with English. Don't guess. Use deep learning. And finally, challenge yourself. Regularly step out of your comfort zone by exploring complex or unfamiliar business topics. When you find a difficult podcast or article, instead of just taking the easy route and saying, no, that's too hard, challenge yourself. Sit down and go through it slowly. You'll be amazed at how much you can deeply understand when you try to go through really difficult material and you follow these same concepts that I've shared with you today. By using these concepts of deep learning, you'll be able to slowly go through each new vocabulary term with curiosity and find the correct meaning. Additionally, you'll understand how to use these new challenging terms in your own conversations in the future. You might need to go through the material multiple times to completely understand everything, but that's okay. Go through it twice. Go through it five times. Say it out loud. The goal here is to really use curiosity to help your deep learning vocabulary. So take your time. As you see, these five steps of developing a curiosity-driven approach will allow you to become confident at a faster rate than if you quickly go through the material you don't fully understand. Be curious. Be super curious. And you will see your confidence grow quickly. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.